You know, my iMac from 2007 just isn't slow enough with an already 10-year-old OS on it, so I have an idea. Let's put Sequoia on it. There's literally nothing stopping me. Oh, except the current CPU in there physically can't run anything later than 10.11. But that's fine. I've bought an Intel Core 2 Duo T9300. And like 4 gigabytes of RAM. And we're gonna shove this all in there. Oh. Surprise SSD. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, and I bought more cheap screwdrivers. So let's get in. Now time for the very fun part of uh, taking this freaking screen off. You see, the screen is magnetic, and this is glass. And if you pull glass wrong, it breaks. My goal is to try not to let that happen. How? This is bending a lot. Please do not break. I am- Oh yes, yes! That can go on my chair. Hopefully I don't forget and sit there. What are we doing next? We're removing 12 T8 screws. Very nice. Wait, this thing just comes off? No, it doesn't. I have to simulate a magnitude 9 earthquake to get this thing off. Get- Okay. What was that? There we go. I'll set this one on my bed. Remember guys, whenever you're repairing something, make sure to touch all the components on the motherboard to safely discharge them with your fingers. Display is out. Now do not drop this anywhere. Oh, hey, by the way, if you're watching this as a tutorial, uh, you probably should not. You should not be trusting me with your precious iMac. Oh, it's fine. I didn't shear off a capacitor yet. Logic board. Warranty void if removed. You can't lie to me. I know that these are not legal. Do you think Apple's gonna honor the warranty on this 18 year old computer? What if I break something? I'll have to get it repaired. Ah, uh, flip it over. Mm. We're taking off the heat sink now. Wow, that is some dry thermal paste. It's like clay. Get my random bag of screwdriver from iPhone repair kits. Just what I needed. Who wants a terrible CPU? Not me. Holy sh! The IRS is in here. Look at that. Nice and clean. Hey, look, a new CPU. In you go. Hopefully it works. Perfect. Feel free to argue about what thermal paste application is the best in the comments. Go. Oh, let's just go ahead and put new RAM in it. What is this? How do you even get RAM out? Oh, like that? That's how you do it? This is how we're doing this? You're gonna assume you pull. You do. One gigabyte of dedotated RAM right here, guys. Um. Ew. Four gigabytes of the cheapest RAM I could find on eBay. There. You've heard Bringus Studios say optical media bad. I'm upping that and saying spinning media bad. All of it. We gotta get this thing out of here. Now it's just occurring to me that this is a three and a half inch hard drive and I'm about to shove an SSD in it meant for a laptop. So, uh... Duct tape. There. Are you bothered how I put this in here? Because it's only gonna get worse from here. All right, let's boot this mirror up so I can stop seeing the entire room ref reflected at me. Boot chime. Oh. Second boot chime, that's weird. Yeah, you know, every iMac has a second boot chime. That's completely normal. It's booting from a DVD right now because my usual this thing that went through the washer and dryer twice in its lifetime, by the way, has finally died. Or uh, Belina Etcher just doesn't want to write to it. Oh, uh, is that a kernel panic? What? What do you mean, Colonel Panic? Um, I really hope this isn't because of the CPU. Uh, I maybe has something to do with the RAM. Uh, let's try one stick of RAM. Do you boot now? Hey, it turns on at least. And there's not a second boot chime. So I'm just gonna let this thing install itself. And while it's doing that, I wonder if my old MacBook Pro, which also has DDR2 RAM, has a two gigabyte stick in here. Cause if it does, I'm gonna steal it. Oh, would you look at that? These might be one gigabyte sticks. They are, damn it. So now I guess we're gonna use this stick in place of the two gigabyte one that's not working. So that's not ideal, but it's gonna have to work. So a whole day later, we have finally made it into macOS. This sat on the Apple logo for like two hours and then didn't do anything. So then I don't know why I didn't do this first. I wrote the installer ISO to the USB drive using the normal macOS method on my MacBook Pro from like 2007 and it worked. So maybe this drive is fine. Also, this is reporting now as 400 megahertz. That's fine, it's not actually 400 megahertz. Now upgrades, it is time people, for upgrades. upgrades. We're gonna force this thing to have Sequoia on it against its will entirely. We just have to get OpenCore Legacy Patcher, run it, create the install medium, and install it. And totally nothing will go wrong at all. Hello, assets. Do I have to get the Pale Moon browser on here? Okay, fine, hold on. Okay, there, what? Oh, we're good. 
There, we got our package file. What do you mean the operation couldn't be completed? Oh, it's not downloaded yet. I'm, I... <laughs> okay, not my smartest moment there. It's fine. Open. Now what? I've installed it. Where did it go? Maybe it's in the applications folder. There you are. Wow, this is so easy now. I bet from here it'll be super easy. Smooth sailing. It's doing it. It's finding available software. It's a marvel of technology. This is truly a finding available software moment. And when I say moment, I mean like five minutes. What is it doing? I am not even kidding. As soon as I stopped recording, it actually finished doing this. Well, we're gonna go big and go with Sequoia. Download. Install macOS Sequoia requires high Sierra. Wait, what? Hey, why wouldn't you tell me before I spent 30 minutes downloading it? All right, what, we have to use like DOS Dude or something, right? Where's DOS Dude? Oh, here it is, wow. Tools, download, download it, yes. It finished, and now it's going on the USB, yay. Hi, Sierra, and then Sequoia. This video has gotten out of hand really quickly. This one, this better work or I'm going to explode. Hey, it's done. Brother, what do you mean, no? Oh, right, the post install patches. Uh, post install. Reboot time. Hey, look at that. All the patches are installed. Now we'll open core work. Or is it going to scream at me because I used DOS Dude to update it? Open core patcher. Create macOS installer. Using existing macOS. It worked. So I guess we can now just put Sequoia on here. Yay. I mean, I guess it's just as simple as clicking on this, right? Are we out of the woods? I mean, technically we're like in the woods, kind of. There's some woods over here. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. It's working. It's creating the installer. And it can take up to 30 minutes or more. It's finally done. It's a Christmas miracle. Well, it's successfully created. Not sure how much further we're gonna get without an issue. I guess we'll see what happens when I click yes. Install to disk. How many kernel panics can I accumulate in the next two minutes? It's mounting open core. Wow, this is so much easier than hackintoshing. Reboot to apply. That sounds like a perfect idea. I wonder how much faster this could have turned out if I had this stick of RAM in here. I'm leaving it here as a reminder of the speed we're missing out on. Mouse icon. MacBook icon. What? There is a mouse plugged in. Oh, it's not on. Why is it not on? I know why. USB hub time. Well, this should be pretty much a normal macOS install. Why is the mouse running at like 30 frames per second? This feels really slow. See you in 51 minutes. What? File system verify or repair failed? What? Oh no. Uh, maybe it's fine and it doesn't matter. Let me just click OK. Oh, choose a startup disk. There is no startup disk in here. <laughs> How about we restart? You know what? Forcing to turn off. Who's laughing now? Um, no, this one. Oh my, this thing is like a million degrees. Why don't I hear the fans running at Mach 7? And how long is this gonna take? Ah, oh, we're in recovery. I didn't wait 50 minutes to be in recovery. What if I just run first aid on it? First aid process has failed. Okay, um, that's not very good. Guess we're erasing it and we're doing APFS. Wait, why are you in recovery again? I told you to install. Oh, here we go. I just chose the macOS installer from the open core menu. There it goes. It's, it's gonna continue. 29 more minutes. Yay. Wait, what? An error occurred preparing the software update. I didn't ask you to update. Also, okay, fine. What? There's no startup disk either. Again? Guess what? I'm actually insane! So I spent a few days just continuously rebooting this thing, hoping it would work. Wait, what? And all it would do was get stuck at the Apple logo with a progress bar with like three pixels filled in. So I, of course, just kept trying over and over again, expecting it to do something different. It did not. It turns out there's a new version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher that apparently fixes boot issues. Also, I'm in the future now, and there's a newer, newer one. This is not the one that I used, but it should probably work even better. Back to past me. Wait a minute! It's doing something extra and different this time! Oh my, I'm so excited. <gasps> oh 
what? It's working. Oh my God, it's working. Okay, okay. We made it. Let's go. Do we get to successfully go through the setup process now? I sure hope so. I think I need cognitive accessibility. I, I, I there's, there's gotta be something wrong with me to actually want to finish this task. I don't want to connect to, I don't want to know what horrors this thing tries to do when it connects to the internet. I would like to live in peace for just a couple of minutes and know that what I've done is working. Create a Mac account. Oh, wow. It's, it took a minute to actually load that. Can I have the laughing and crying emoji? There, it's the tax man from Repo. All right. Does it let me not set a password? No, I have to set a password. Fine. One. Can the password be the number one? Four characters or more? I just typed the word one and then the number one. And then the hint is one. That's a secure account. I don't think I've ever sat on this screen for this long. Something must be weird. Creating account. Okay. Well, I believe you. I'm going to go like eat breakfast. Oh, terms and conditions. Is it against Apple's terms and conditions to update your software? No, I don't think so. Agree. Not that I care about it anyway. I would have broken these regardless. I, I don't want look. Why? Wait, wait, where are you going? Hey, hello? Why did you go away? Don't take this away from me. Oh, it it timed out. Oh, this, this emoji is really encompassing the feeling that I am getting right now. I just feel like I'm a joke. I never thought I would get to the password screen during the setup. Yeah, I don't want location services. Was that, was that a ploy to get me to enable it? No. Continue. Don't use. I don't want Apple doing analytics on me. I did, no thanks. Ask Siri? No, we don't need any of the precious system resources being taken up by that. We've already got one of the oldest processors that this operating system can support, so continue. Without Siri. Update Mac automatically. I, I don't know if that is a good idea. Cool. We have unlocked Macintosh Square around everything edition. What is- oh god, the mouse. This processor must be at like 257% right now. Yeah, so I just waited like an hour and a half for it to move past that screen with the outline of a box, and then I just came over here and clicked the mouse and this appeared. So it's working now! Oh my god! It's asking me, finished building your open core configuration? Would you like to install open core now? It looks like I should do that. Install the disk. I'm gonna remove the USB. Rebooting and holding option. The moment of truth. What is this doing? The mouse is here, but everything else is not. I guess I'll just come back to this when it's done loading whatever it's loading. Hey, we're still on a black screen. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna restart this now. Black screen with mouse again. I'm just gonna assume that the password field is selected. I'm gonna type my password. Oh, no, yeah, you will. Huh? Yeah, your computer shut down because of a problem. Yeah, I, there's there are many things going to be wrong with this. I wonder how much memory this thing is using just idling. Now the background doesn't load. Does, is, is that because there's no memory to load it or is it just too slow? Wow, the CPU is absolutely pegged doing nothing. Okay, how's the memory? The memory's pretty good. Three gigabytes. That's actually, I think it might be enough to run the operating system. All right, what have we gotten about this Mac so far? Is this graphically accelerated? Oh, wait, it recognizes the graphics card. I would like to see if it could play games and later make music. So I've got Steam opening right now. Background items added. Oh no, we do not need background items. No, please. <laughs> this thing can't handle anything more happening in the background. Oh my gosh. Let's get some games installed. You can't run 32-bit games. This CPU is edging 32-bit. You Are you saying that, that it could never run 32-bit anything? You lie, macOS. You can't play Portal 2, but you can play The Sims 4. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Could it run Repo? I mean, I could stream it from the computer that is on right now that has it installed. This actually might run worse than just running the game because this thing probably doesn't have very good video decoding. Oh, what the hell? Okay, well, obviously this doesn't work. I have unlocked a new color, orange. Okay, for real, what can we play on here? How about Minecraft? Chicken Jackie. Why does Minecraft need to record this computer's screen and audio? What? I'm not even going to question it. It's Microsoft. It's going to record the entire screen just to make sure I'm not too invested in macOS. That's really interesting. Does this happen to normal people? Have I done too much Microsoft slander on this video? Trust me, I hate all large corporations, not just Microsoft. You think I love macOS because I put it on all these devices? No. I'm doing this because it's interesting. That's about it. Yeah, okay. Minecraft is requesting to bypass the system private window picker and to directly access your screen and audio? Why does it need to do that? I don't- I, Is this normal? Why does it need to do that? Sure, I'll allow it because it's funny. 
but why? Holy hell, dude, this launcher gets more bloated every time I look at it. The play button is like barely visible up here. What are you doing, Microsoft? What the hell is a launcher lurker? Before it said I was a launcher loafer. Yes, I know the Minecraft movie is out. I watched it. The whole theater cheered and screamed when he said chicken Jackie. Not even kidding. Okay, play. This video has gone completely off the rails. It's not even about macOS anymore. What? What are you doing? I'm a mob buddy now? There shouldn't need to be this many animations playing while I'm downloading the game. Now it's hot. Now the computer is the sun. With three fans in there, it should not be that hot. But this is, this is Apple we're talking about. They don't, I guess they've never really had a good track record for cooling. I don't know what I was really expecting. Why does the loading bar keep going backwards? I've literally never seen that happen. Press enter to an ah, narrator. Shut up. Okay, let's play Minecraft. This is genuinely, and I am not even exaggerating, running like two times better than a computer that I own from 2016. Can it go into full screen? Whoa! Oh, we're good. It freaking can. I would say this is actually playable. What are we getting? It's not six. 25 frames per second? Nine? Okay, it's a little bit choppy. It's really not that bad. I think this speaker is blown. <laughs> I saw that it had a little bit of foam rot. What do you know? Minecraft works. Okay, we've tried 3D Minecraft. What about 2D Minecraft? And if you're sensitive to flashing lights, you should probably look away until I say, but anyway, it looked Terraria's working and it only sometimes gives me a seizure. Oh, hey, ah, oh my God, no. I, uh, I should probably get out of this game before I give myself a migraine. Well, can it play Terraria? Yes. Somehow worse than Minecraft. But anyway, stick around to the end for a song I made with macOS noises. And can it run Sequoia? Yes, with a lot of pain. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe. And thank you very much to those of you that have become a member. It means a lot to me. But yeah, enjoy the music.